Hi there guys, welcome back to another mini tutorial with Fauber. Today we're going over Tesseracts, the use and function, and I have selected three types. We have the energy type, we have the liquid type, and we have the item type. Tesseracts are very underestimated. I really, I, I watch a lot of YouTubes, and I don't really see people use them that much. It is a shame because these blocks are really amazing. For some reason, well, of, well, obvious reasons, of course, ender chests are cheaper to make, and now that we also have the liquid ender chest, it's easier. But it's not, it doesn't feel right. I'm a Tesseract person, so today we're going over the Tesseracts. The Tesseracts work just like the wireless redstone mod, except you're transferring either energy, items, or liquids. And I have uh, set up a few things right here. You can see we have Billcraft energy stored in this one. It's full, in fact. And it's set to go into this energy tesseract as you can see it's called my idea is then i will going to output it out to this energy tesseract into this empty energy cell and there is nothing on the ground so the way it works is you give it a frequency right here you can also do a bit of configuration. You can set it to public access or owner only. The owner is the person who plays the block. It's stored in the value of the block. You can send it to should it resend and receive or just send or only receive. We're going to set this one to send only and owner only. Doesn't really matter about the owner because I'm in a single player world right now. This small box here is uh, where you put input the frequency. So let's just call it 001. Click frequency 1. We can give it a name. Energy storage. And click the plus sign. Now we have this one. And it's associated with frequency 1. The reason I call it storage is because basically this is just a battery. Now, imagine you're out somewhere and you want to start a quarry or anything really that needs a, a Billcraft energy. You could also place these behind your machines in your factories. Right-click this bad boy and now you see it's public access, so there's nothing to select. If you switch to owner only, you can see you get the frequencies you as a person have access to. I click this one and click set frequency. But before I do that, I check that it's in send, receive or receive only mode because we want to receive energy here. Hit the check mark. And even though you can't see it, it should be transferring energy. You can see it right there. It's transferring the energy from that one to that one. Of course, there is a cost. There we go. And now we're just going to leave it running. And we should see if it's worth it or not. The next one is lava. Well, any liquid goes. So, let's uh, get a wrench. Right there. Turn this bad boy on. There you go. And you can see there's nothing coming out over here. We haven't set the frequency yet. So let's uh, set this to frequency 1 as well. But why? Well, the frequencies are unique to you as a person or player on the game. And they are unique to the Tesseract type. So, because this is a tesseract, liquid tesseract, it can easily have the same frequency as the energy, and they will not interfere. Frequency 1, it's called lava. 
This one was set to public. That means basically anyone in the game can access the output. So if a friend of yours needed lava, he could hit this and thank you, and he would receive the lava just like that. And it's this. There you go. Filling with energy, slowly but surely. Lava has been moved. Items is the same. Frequency 1. Well, this is an item tesseract, so it can also access. Free cobblestone. So if somebody needed cobblestone, you can also place them with the next to a red two, uh, sorry, red power two thing. You can use uh, applied energetics. It has a block that is going to constantly keep a supply of a certain amount right next to this block, and it will be able to pull. I will look into that later. Okay, this guy over here, he's going to need cobblestone. Oh, but there's nothing coming. That's because there is no cobblestone, in theory. There we go. Now we should receive cobblestone. Yeah, maybe I should have used uh, a... Uh, <laughs> A, um, what should we call it? Gold pipes. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Cobblestone has been moved. And the reason I'm showing you this in this tutorial with the Tesseract is because in a future tutorial I have planned, we are going to utilize them. And it's kind of sucky if you don't know how they work before we get there. Tesseracts, my friends, use them. They are very useful. What's that out there? Never mind. Getting distracted. There are, of course, other mods allowing you to transfer items uh, around on the server or something. I just like the Tesseracts. It seems fun. You can see test racks. We have these types. And of course, there is a building process which I won't go into. I think you should look up the recipes yourself and <laughs> be amazed. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.